When it comes to the flu shot, nothing is simple. This year, the vaccine was so mismatched. In healthy adults, it offers almost no protection. Maybe not zero, but it's certainly far from the kind of protection that we typically expect. In a normal year, that's about 60 percent. But there's always a risk that the vaccine won't be a good match for the virus. And there's another inconvenient truth emerging. Research is showing that getting the shot one year might make the next year's vaccine less effective. That's an uncomfortable thing for people to hear, but it definitely seems to be a real effect. For more than a decade, scientific papers have reported unexpected findings of lower effectiveness with repeated vaccination, a strange negative effect of prior year vaccination on current year. But flu experts can't quite explain this curious effect of repeated vaccination. For some reason, prior vaccination is taking up the attention of your body's immune system. It's busy elsewhere. During the flu pandemic in 2009, this epidemiologist discovered that the regular flu vaccine doubled the risk of infection from the pandemic strain. Oh, that was the worst summer, I think, of my life. <laughs> the findings have since been confirmed in both animals and humans. We have to deal with these findings. We have to confront them uh, bravely um, if we want to better understand and better prepare for the next uh, uh, possibility that this could happen. All of that is confusing for people trying to decide whether to get the annual flu shot. But these findings are just so new, so emerging, that policymakers, I think, have not yet had chance to fully digest them or uh, understand the implications. It still doesn't mean people shouldn't get their flu shots. It does mean, however, we should be really honest about how much benefit they're potentially going to be getting. The experts agree on one thing. We need a better flu shot, a one-time vaccine that would be effective against all strains. It's something researchers are working on, but even if they're successful, it's still years away. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto. And Dr. Michael Gardam is here to help us make sense of all of this. Can you make sense of all of this? She called it confusing. What do you make of this? It is very confusing. It's very odd to have prior vaccinations somehow affect what's happening to you this year. There is, really isn't a lot of precedent for this. And so it's something that, as was mentioned, is very confusing and people are still trying to figure out what this means in terms of policy. Well, and as you know, every year we're told to, by most of the experts to make sure you go and get that flu shot. I mean, does this make us, I don't know, not trust you less, but it's going to make people wonder the next time you tell them you need something. I think it does make people wonder, and I think that's why we have to be very honest and, and clear about the, the uh, potential shortcomings of this vaccine. So should people continue getting it every year? You know, I get mine every year. I mean, the fact remains that even with this diminished effect, if you've had prior vaccination, it's still better than nothing. I realize it's a hard thing to sell, especially this year where the vaccine is really not working very well, but we have to remember there are other strains that may show up yet this year. And most years, it's not this bad. So fact remains, there really isn't any downside to getting it, uh, and it still is better than nothing, but obviously we want better vaccine. Better odds next year, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dr. Gardner. Thank you.